Greetings, Eric Facker here, the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. We're still talking about omega-3. Now we're gonna talk about omega-3 and weight loss. Can omega-3, is that the microphone on? I always worry about that, it is. Is omega-3 going to help you losing weight? Well, there are four ways, in fact, that omega-3 can assist you with weight loss. So let me just talk a bit about that. But before we go further, remember that omega-3 is not like a weight loss pill, okay? It's not like Xenical or a drug where you take it and then you stop eating and you wake up the next day size 12, all right, or whatever. It doesn't work like that. So please don't see this as like the weight loss miracle that Dr. Roz has talked about or some goofy crap like that because it's not, okay? Fish oil is a supplement, it's a dietary supplement, it's a food, it's a nutrition for the body, feeds the body, helps to perform multiple very important metabolic functions, but it is not made in some factory by some guy in a white coat, so you're gonna lose 100 pound, it doesn't work like that, all right? So let's just get that clear right now. It's not a weight loss pill, that's basically what I'm gonna say. So now that I'm over all the dramatics, let's just talk about the four ways in this, in the way um, Omega-3 can help you, okay? So the first one it does, Omega-3 can help to boost your metabolic rate. So basically your metabolism is what your body is doing with the food that you're eating. Okay, it cannot, a, metabol, a metabolic rate can burn hot or be a fast. A metabolic rate can sort of be normal or it can be low. There are many reasons why people have metabolic rates that are all over the place. You may know some people can eat a ton of food, they don't gain any weight at all, and other people don't eat much food at all. They gain massive amounts of weight. Hormones come into play, um, of course, but when it comes to metabolism, omega-3 can help. So I've got here, there are different studies you can find online that support the use of omega-3 supplements when it comes to increasing your metabolic rate. In one study, older women who took 3,000 milligrams per day for a period of three months, 12 weeks, resulted in a 14% increase in their metabolic rate. The average increase in other studies ranged from 5% up to almost 20% increase using omega-3. The other interesting find was that those who remained on the omega-3 supplements for several months had an increase in muscle mass as well as a decrease in body fat composition. The more fat they burned and the longer their metabolic rate remained high, the more weight they lost, basically. Therefore, omega-3 supplements can help speed up your metabolic rate. So, even if you can only achieve a modest five or seven percent increase in metabolic rate, that's massive for you. That means you're going to be burning more fat, all right? So that's the one way it does it. It burns metabolic fat. <clears throat> the second way is it complements your exercise regime. <clears throat> it is important to understand this concept that omega-3 supplements do not only help you to amp up your metabolic rate, leading to weight loss, but the supplements can also force your body to rely more on fats for energy. Right? and less on carbohydrates. You'll especially notice it if you cut right back on carbs uh, and increase your intake of fish oils and fats, nuts and seeds, for example, get fats from healthy sources like almonds or Brazil nuts or you know walnuts uh, from different types of seeds like chia seeds or hemp seeds. And don't let everyone tell you that all seeds are toxic today because those people need to go and get a head check because they're not, okay? I can understand people dissing disrespecting wheat, but I can't understand why they would disrespect quinoa uh, and hemp. Oh yeah, but they contain anti-nutrients. Man, my cell phone's got more anti-nutrients than your old supermarket is where you go to. So don't listen to all these naysayers. There's nothing wrong with small amounts of these seeds per day. You're gonna get plenty of fats if you vary the type uh, in your diet, all right? <clears throat> of course, extra virgin olive oil um, is another good one. Once your body starts to produce energy from fats, your desire for carbs will slowly drop off. Remember, you are building more lean muscle as your met metabolism increases. There are multiple studies that have now shown that those who take fish oil in conjunction with exercise were significantly more successful in losing and maintaining that weight loss than those who relied only on exercise. An interesting study I looked at reported that women who took an average of 3,000 a day uh, were burned up to 30% fat. So up to 30% more fat than people who took no fish oil at all. So go to Google yourself, type in fish oil, type in omega-3 weight loss, have a look at some of the scientific research regarding it, because it's not all hocus pocus anymore. All right. Let's look at the third point now. So the third reason <clears throat> omega-3 can help you 
with weight loss is it can curb feelings of appetite and hunger. When you eat good fats, it tends to make you full. All right? Fats fill you up. They're a good source of energy for the body, but they also squish and squash feelings of wanting to run to the refrigerator or the pantry for a donut or something like that. I'll just read out my notes again. <clears throat> I've often noticed clinically that those who take fish oil with most meals tend to full, feel full for much longer and sometimes even longer yet. This is a very useful action if you're looking at weight loss. A feeling of fullness or satiety can help you put off that next snack. Right? I've looked at many studies that show that when healthy adults are given more than 1000 milligrams per day they report feelings of fullness for up to two hours after a meal. These effects vary from person to person but the point I'm making here is eating more fish oil will make you eat less fats and less carbs. All right? Let's look at the fourth and final point of how omega-3 can help you with weight loss. Well, basically it helps you to build muscle tissue, right? So if you hop on the scales and you feel really overweight and big, you may be mistaken there and you may be thinking that, you know, man, I'm seriously overweight, but it's the fat, okay? It's the fat, look at all the fat you're carrying. But the muscle weighs a lot more than fat. So this is why smaller people who exercise a lot can in fact weigh more than bigger people who carry the fat. Right? So you may appear to look thinner, but when you weigh yourself, you still feel you weigh too much. How is this even possible? Your weight doesn't seem to have budged, but people are telling you you've lost weight. It's crazy. Muscle weighs more than fat. It's more solid. It's more dense. And it's this reason why the tape measure is an important tool when it comes to tracking body fat. Okay, so when you look at the percentages of body fat, the tape's better than the scales. Some people may be disappointed after taking omega-3 supplements, expecting to lose weight rapidly. But, and this may explain why some studies haven't linked omega-3 supplements with weight loss, because omega-3 helps to build muscle tissue rather than fat. Okay. An interesting study revealed that when participants took 4,000 milligrams of fish oil in a clinical setting, they failed to lose more weight than those who took placebo, just some other encapsulated oil like olive oil. But what happened was interesting. The group who took the fish oil lost more than 1.1 pounds or 500 grams of fat and gained more than 1.1 pounds of muscle. So now you can see why it's confusing for people. Many studies have shown omega-3 supplements to reduce waist circumference and waist to hip ratio more effectively. So to conclude on all of this, fish oil doesn't necessarily help you to quickly lose weight, but it does help you. It does, it make, it does make it easy if you lose the inches, right? helping you to drop a size or two. But not only that, in the same time, you'll be looking after your heart, your immune system, your joints, uh, and many other aspects of your health. So it's definitely worth thinking about taking omega-3 if you carry a bit of weight. Thanks for tuning in.